Now, President Biden now starting to pose a different but familiar question. You've heard it before. Are you better off than you were four years ago? His campaign, by the way, also leaning into the stock market now as the major indices once again closed at record highs with the Dow Jones Industrial <laughs> Average, get this, now approaching 40 Thousand. You see the post there from the campaign. Come on in. Kevin Munoz, senior campaign spokesperson, joins us live. Kevin, nice to talk to you and see you as always. Thank you for the time. Um, you know how the stock market works. We all do. It goes up, it goes down. It's, it's up at record levels. But I wonder uh, why lean in, considering that there's downside risk as well. Well, thanks for having me, Blake. Uh, look, I think that the president, our campaign, is happy to talk about the continued strong progress the Biden economy is having for the American people. And when we look at the stock market, yes, this is an important metric to look at the progress, but we're looking at record job creation. We're looking at jobs coming back to the United States, good paying union manufacturing jobs, lowering prescription drug costs for the first time. And then you look at Donald Trump, the guy we're running against. Not only does he have all the issues you guys were just talking about, but he also has no plan to actually address the real issues the American people want. He, in fact, has rooted for the stock market to crash. So we got to remind the American people who is fighting for them. I think it was a, Joe Biden. I, I, I'm not sure if it's fair to say he was actually actively rooting for it. But e either way, Kevin, I just heard you talk about jobs, manufacturing, prescription drug costs. There was a story in The Washington Post this week that caught my attention. I want to show it to you. Uh, headline, in Wisconsin, a vote for Biden or Trump could come down to grocery prices. And here's what one person says in that article. Why do we have these super rich people telling us everything is okay when everything has gone up at least a dollar or two? I hear you on jobs. I hear you on manu manufacturing. I hear you on prescription drugs. But what would you say to that shopper in Sheboygan, Wisconsin? Is it, is it simply going to come down, Kevin, to what grocery prices are in November? Well, look, wages are increasing, inflation is down, jobs are being created, and you have one candidate in this race who has a proven record of fighting for lower costs, fighting against junk fees, and that is Joe Biden. Look at what we've done to lower prescription drug costs, health care costs. The president was just in Reno talking about what he's doing to lower housing costs. Then you have a billionaire that wants to cut taxes for the rich and repeal laws that are lowering health care costs. And so when we talk about all of these issues, there's a guy that has a, like, a full record of things that we can talk about, and then we have what a billionaire. Would you, what, would you say to that, what would you say to that voter in Wisconsin? And, and you know, Kevin, you go to the grocery store, I do. Prices are, are just higher. They are. That's a fact. And so I wonder what you would tell, to, tell those voters um, who look at their grocery bill and, and say, you know what? Is it better off than four years ago? No, it's not. Well, actually, when we look at four years ago, Blake, people didn't have toilet paper. Everybody was flying, filing unemployment claims. You couldn't go to the beach in Donald Trump and I's home state. So I don't know if that's true. At the same time, there is one guy in this race that absolutely is fighting for working people, that understands the pain of high costs at the grocery store. It is not Donald Trump. It is Joe Biden. And that is why he is fighting for all of the things that he is fighting for in this election. Uh, you mentioned that the president was out west. Uh, he just wrapped up a trip there. You mentioned Reno. He was in the uh, state of Arizona and the state of Texas as well. Arizona, Texas, two border states. As you know, Kevin, the president did not make uh, a trip at the southern border, did not focus any of his events there as it relates to the crisis at the southern border. Can you explain why not? Well, I think the president is going to travel to every battleground state and talk about the full suite of issues that matter to the voters that are going to decide this election. So we got to talk about housing costs this time. We got to talk about creating once-in-a-generation jobs through the Chips and Science Act in Arizona. And you're going to see him continue to talk to these voters about these issues. Immigration is an important issue. Immigration is an issue that the American people don't want but demand action on. And Joe Biden brought that. And Donald Trump alongside Mike Johnson, decided to rip away any lasting effort to address our broken immigration system. And that's what we got to talk about. Kevin, we'll leave it there. Kevin uh, Munoz from the Biden campaign. Always good to see you, Kevin. Thanks. See you, Blake. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.